have uh, a fan back Windsor chair dating from 1780 to 1800. It was made in Connecticut. You can see the pummel on the seat. Some of the nice turnings. What makes this chair unusual is the seat. The seat is made out of maple. It is not made out of softwood, which most Windsors were. And when upon researching this chair in my Windsor book, there were some maple seats in the 1700s from Connecticut. And they only used flamed maple. And if you look here, you could see some of the flaming of the maple. I'm not sure how good this comes in because but you could see here is the grain and and then the flaming kind of goes this way. And these were not painted. These would have been uh, had a clear finish of some type. Shellac or some type of finish because of that flaming. Another characteristic of these maple seats is the turning on the styles there right here. When you look here at this, this is normally this turning would be down here. But this one's much further higher up and uh, that was characteristic of this maker. So uh, unusual. What, another good thing about this chair is the bend to the crest rail. That's quite a bend. It's quite a bend. It is hand plane. The seat is hand planed. Maple seat, maple legs. Everything above the seat, spindles, etc., are oak. This one here, that support there, is a lot bigger than that one. And every one of these. Um, spindles are different in flat, they have flat spots. And then of course your typical uh, square pegs. And this piece here is a lot thinner than that piece. In fact, right here, you could feel where he's kind of, there's a bump here, making it thicker. Not quite sure why. But a nice chair. <clears throat> Very unusual to have that maple seat, so that's why I got it. There's your rain gutter. All done by hand. And I'm not sure if I get over here, if you could see some of the flaming better. The, I mean, the seat is is worn, so the flaming is is kind of um, hard to see. But that would have been beautiful at the time. If you've ever seen the back of a violin, you could see some of the flaming. So a nice chair. It's kind of bright out to show you the progression of our northern New England winter. Snow is, we already have a winter storm coming, another one. You can see all the snow. That gentleman's yard. You can't even see the road hardly. It's deep. It's very deep. Can't wait for spring. Quite a few nor'easters this year in New England. So a nice little fan back chair. 1780s, 90s. With the unusual maple seat. Nice bottom turnings. No ring. Typical of Connecticut. No ring in the stretcher there, middle stretcher and here. That's all maple. And then that there. Full length chair. Feet haven't, or the legs have not been cut. So, I don't have a continuous arm Windsor or a low back Windsor, so 
Continuous arm Windsors, even in bad shape, are very expensive. Low back Windsors are hard to find. So thanks for watching.